Hey guys, how you doing today? Look at me. I'm letterbox style. <laughs> Somebody pointed out that if I actually started recording videos this way, I'd probably get more subscribers, more viewers. I think that's probably true, right? More widescreen, more John, all the time. Uh, <laughs> something I've been thinking about for a while, so I'm going to execute on it. Got to figure out how to hold this thing properly, though. Okay, there we go. There we go. Yeah, now you can see more of the world around me. Okay. Ah, uh, man. Another busy day in Toy Store Land. We're all working through this lockdown, making it happen. Uh, what the heck has been bouncing around in my head? Been hearing uh, uh, glimpses here and there of uh, this idea of the Great Reset. That's something that I th I've been hearing a lot about. Not a lot. I should be clearer. Uh, it, it, it's the Great Reset. It's become this slogan. I'm hearing commentators talk about it. I don't really 100% know anything about it, but that's what makes that more interesting to me, right? Whenever phrases like this creep into the national conversation, the Great Reset, right? The Great Reset, it just kind of shows up. <coughs> I assume that uh, it's, uh, I definitely assume it's a plan against the populace, right? Like that's how it's been for the last 40 years. I don't see why it's any different now. Uh, the Trudeau government as well as just Western governments generally, uh, have got to start seeing the writing on the wall, right? They, they, they have got to start understanding. Like in America, there's thousands of people protesting in the streets, uh, here in Canada, the popularity of the Liberal Party is dropping constantly uh, in favor of other left-wing parties. Um, they can't continue this game of cap corporate capitalism, uh, and they can't keep playing it this way. And they know that's the truth. Because eventually the boomers die, the conservative voters die, for the most part, and all that's left is this uh, wasteland that they've left behind uh, and like the youth are not voting conservative and they're definitely definitely letting go of the liberals election by election right the uh, like the liberals used to have a majority now they have a mo minority it's really bad news for a political party it's it's hard to go from a minority government to a uh, majority government after you've already had a majority right you go from majority to minority and then back up to majority, that's tough. The far more likely trajectory for political parties is majority, minority, out of power. And hopefully that's the trajectory of the liberals, uh, not at the success of the conservatives. But that's how Canadians are. That's how Canadians are. We are just extremely gullible. We have no problem buying into ridiculous nonsense. And that's why I'm deeply skeptical of this great reset, right? This the Great Reset narrative. Uh, from the right, it's being used as like a, a scare terminology, right? Uh, I've heard Justin Trudeau get called a communist, which is embarrassing. If, if somebody was around me and called Justin Trudeau a communist, I'd just, I'd just laugh at them. It's such a stupid thing to say. Like, you, you, if you're saying like Justin Trudeau is a communist, like, that, you're, oh, <laughs> it's, it's just, that's just some next level embarrassment right there. Like really cringeworthy, like, ooh, like, oh, I'm so sorry for you and your worldview. <laughs> like, it's bad enough calling Justin Trudeau a socialist. Like, he's not a socialist. Like, he's a liberal, right? Like, he loves power. He wants uh, lots of diversity in his power. Um, but he doesn't want to ameliorate power. He doesn't want to spread power around. He doesn't want... The poor to be less poor, right? He's not interested in any of that. He just wants his cabinet to be diverse. Uh, and as long as they can continuously keep the conversation that way, that make it so that diversity is the only thing worth talking about instead of like economic material uh, conditions, then they can continue duping the populace into believing that they're the best option, right? But so. Now we're in this interesting position where this conversation about the Great Reset is coming around. Uh, here's how the Liberals, I think, will pitch it. Because, remember, my position is real clear. 
that the, this modern day liberal party exists mainly as a propaganda outlet, that they are there to convince you that they are good, right? That they want to convince you that they're interested in, in, in helping you do stuff. They're not interested in helping you do stuff. They just want to look like they're doing stuff, right? They are not interested in passing a basic income. They're not interested in giving you pharmacare. They're not interested in improving the society. They're not interested in improving your material and economic conditions. They're not, the, the, the liberals are not interested in any of that. They're interested in looking like they're interested in that. And as long as they can trick you into believing that they're interested in that, then they'll get you to vote for them. And that's, that's what they care about. They care about power for themselves. They care about brunch. Uh, and they care about looking special, but the reality is, is this group of liberals are going to be forgotten the moment they're out of power, right? Because they've done nothing. They've done nothing of merit. Uh, literally, they've just kowtowed with the uh, uh, American imperial machine, which is why they've gone along, like in Venezuela, they go along with the, the, the Juan Guaido bullshit lie. Uh, they sell guns and weapons to Saudi Arabia. Uh, Anything the American Empire says to do, the America, the Canadians just go, oh, okay, yeah, that sounds great, yeah, yeah, yeah. and we just go along with it. Uh, we're not, we're not interested really in uh, uh, standing up for ourselves on the on the global stage. In terms of climate change, like what have we done? We got we're getting rid of straws. Like it's embarrassing. Um, we haven't done anything in regards to raising a minimum wage. We haven't done anything in regards to uh, redistributing wealth. The NDP put forward a wealth tax. The Liberals uh, knock it down. Um, the Liberals have been promising for 20 years to do pharmacare. Uh, hasn't happened. Uh, isn't going to happen, right? Like, so this idea that the Liberals are going to do some kind of great reset, uh, I'm, I'm extremely skeptical. Like, I'm extremely, extremely, extremely skeptical. And my gut tells me, now everything that follows, okay, I'm going to be real straight with you. I haven't actually done a whole ton of reading on this, okay? Uh, I like to speak from an informed position, but uh, I feel like it's also fine to be upfront that you haven't done the reading and then say, but I have a hunch based on other evidence, right? So based on the history of the uh, Trudeau liberals, I think it's fairly safe to say that they are using phrases like the Great Reset or, uh, uh, you know, we need to reset our economy or any of that kind of stuff as a uh, form of propaganda to deceive the left into voting against its best interests yet again, right? That the Trudeau Liberals' goal uh, is only to secure power for itself and to do so by deceiving the left uh, into convincing it into believing it's the best option. The, uh, this deception, I think, I, here's what I ex expect to see. That the Trudeau liberals will come out and say, oh yeah, we're going to have some kind of great reset that's going to uh, improve the lives of all Canadians. Uh, we're going to redistribute wealth and we're going to readjust how our society looks. And that's what they'll say, okay? Because Canadians are extremely gullible, including people on the left, right? Uh, uh, we're very, very gullible people. And so all it takes is someone to stand up and say, oh, I want to redistribute the wealth for us to be like, oh, that sounds great. Yeah, that sounds great. Yeah, of course, you better do that. Yeah. And uh, no one is actually going to say, no one's actually going to pay attention to what they're actually doing, right? Because we don't pay attention to what politicians actually do. We pay attention to what they say they want to do and what they say. Uh, we're, we're very dumb that way. We don't actually look at actions. We look at uh, 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 rhetoric. We're easy to deceive. Uh, and uh, so they're going to come forward and they're going to say, yeah, we'll redistribute all that kind of stuff. And really what they'll do is uh, they'll further entrench the uh, neo-feudal system that is emerging, right? And, and when people stand up and say, hey, why are we living in a period of neo-feudalism? They won't use that language, but people will say, hey, why is my life shittier, right? Why is everything worse? Uh, we will be told, oh, this is just the beginning of a turn into a better, brighter tomorrow, right? 
we we will suffer today for uh, improvements in the future. That's what we'll be told uh, as the system is structured into uh, a, a, an official neo feudal system. Uh, that's what I expect to see. I expect these liberals to basically look at us, assume that we're stupid because we are. Like honestly, like I I. I I know that's sort of offensive to say, and I, I truly, I, I know it's going to get me in trouble. Like, I know eventually there will come a time where there's going to be some reckoning where someone is going to spit at me or do some kind of crazy shit because I call Canadians uh, gullible. But proof's in the pudding, guys. Proof's in the pudding. Like, we continuously vote for liars. We continuously vote for overt, obvious, deceptive con men. Uh, we continuously throw our chips behind people who are playing to our fears and to our, uh, uh, our passions and desires. We don't give a shit about evidence. We don't give a shit about facts. We don't even give a shit about voting history. Like, we don't care at all about any of that. It's really obvious. If that were the case, the conservatives and the liberals would simply not be political parties. They would be decimated. They would be gone. Like, if we cared about facts and evidence and logic and reason and, uh, uh, and even ethics, morality, uh, uh, a consistency of rhetoric, right? If we cared about any of that kind of stuff, uh, the conservatives and the liberals wouldn't be in power at all. Uh, we really do walk around just being like, oh, things could be worse, I guess. Oh, things could be worse, I guess. Well, oh, maybe... They say they're going to do a thing, even though they haven't done it in the last 20 years. But I guess this time, maybe. Yeah. Uh, if, if we don't vote liberal, the conservatives will get it, and that'll be real bad for some reason. Although my material conditions remain exactly the same under the conservatives and the liberals, so I don't know. Right? <laughs> like, like, uh, we're so gullible. And so I look at something like the Great Reset very skeptically. From both the conservatives and the liberals, because remember, right, conservatives and liberals, they work together. They're an alliance. Uh, to, to think that they're opposed to one another, I think, is is at this is, is just dumb. <laughs> it's so obvious that they work for the same team, that they work for the same goals and towards the same, for the same people, uh, and that they play off one another. Like, I, I just, I don't know why you would ever think otherwise. And uh, the... Uh, and so I fully expect that the Great Reset will be shown at us and shown at Western societies generally in this kind of like, yeah, we need to restructure our economy and streamline businesses and be, be more uh, agile on the world stage and, and help. We need to help our communities and, and uh, uh, help the poor and all this kind of stuff. And then it'll essentially be structured as a neo-feudal system. Uh, Union organizations will be completely decimated, um, or they'll just find meager protections under whichever political party is willing to exploit their desperation. Um, workers will continue to be abandoned. That's 100% what will happen. And uh, basically, my expectation, and I think that this will become more and more obvious under the Biden administration. My expectation is that the wealthy will retreat into their gated communities, uh, uh, into their palaces, and then they will uh, essentially abandon us. And those of us who have full-time work or who can pay our bills will be the fortunate few, and everybody else will be basically just told to slag off. Uh, just go die which we're basically there already. And as long as we keep voting conservative and liberal, it'll just continue to be that way. All right. This one was going to be a short one. So I'm going to, I'm going to wrap it up. Hope you guys are having a good time out there. Hope you're having fun. Good luck. Godspeed. Go say hi to your neighbors. Uh, I love y'all. Bye.